You have some new ETFs? Yes. Uh, that plays right into this tech conversation, correct? Okay, so we're talking about tech, we're talking about growth, we're talking about disruption of e-commerce. And I asked myself, wait a second, about nine months ago, where are all the other companies in the world doing exactly the same thing? Because we know, for example, Uber did not control global ride sharing. Other companies popped up all around the world to compete with them. Must be happening in all kinds of global growth around internet. Must be happening in e-commerce, and sure enough it is. This new index, OGIG, is the global giants of the internet, based on companies growing between 20 and 35 percent. And then I look at their balance sheets. It turns out there's 52 names, the majority of which you've never heard of in all of these companies. You know, companies that provide Amazon-like services in South America, that company's Mercado Libra. Do you own it? Why don't you own it? It's growing faster than Amazon is right now. There's equivalents in every market we've got. This launched today. Launched two hours ago. I've been working on it for a year. But this is what I love about actively managed indexes. You can find researchers. These guys are S networks. They came out of the S&P 20 years ago. I said, go figure it out. Show me 52 companies. Anybody can go online, look up OGIG, and see what the transparency of every name. And believe me, you'll be sure. How does the active part work? They, are they making qualitative judgments, or is it a Absolutely. quant screen? Absolutely. You know, Josh, I'm a balance sheet guy. I want companies with very strong balance sheets, but I want that growth. And these companies are blowing it away on the top line in Great Britain, in Germany, in South America, all these guys competing with what we've known. It, it's not, not just Facebook and, you know, Google and Amazon. You've got to get the equivalents in every country. And here's how you do it. There's 52 names in there, and I bet you you've never heard of two-thirds of them. Top, top 10 holdings, Tencent, Amazon, Baba, Facebook, Alphabet, Netflix, Microsoft, JD, Weibo, and Snap. And then the other 40 are names all over the world that are doing the same thing and growing even faster. That's what I love about it. I love actively managed indexing. I'm never going to stop. I'm going to keep finding teams that can do the work. It's so I, I agree with you like that, that you should own tech globally, and I agree with you that it's underappreciated by U.S. investors. There is no other Chi The Chinese technology names have been amazing over the last few years, and a lot of people still really don't have exposure. I would have never built this if it already existed. There isn't a single index I can find that's global in this space. This is global internet disruption, particularly around e-commerce. It's one index does it all. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.